Hi, this is Janos. This is my little channel, Real World Audio, and today you are getting something special because I'm reviewing reviewers. And uh, yesterday uh, there was a wonderful video that came out. Well, actually, it says five days ago, so it wasn't yesterday. I saw it yesterday, and uh, it was by on a, on a dialogue, analog dialogue, on a dialogue channel, and it's this video. Uh, sorry for the screen reflections, but that's it. That's the video I'm talking about. The digital disease. Why analog sounds better. And uh, and I, I, I think really just watch the video and, and listen to what he has to hear. Uh, because uh, my observations are similar to his. But, you know, at this point you have, you know, one cuckoo guy, me, telling you something, whatever, there's another <laughs> guy like me, this thing, something, how can I trust either of these guys? You can't, you know, <laughs> whatever. Then you watch another channel and there's someone telling you that digital blasts analog away and analog is for dinosaurs and, uh, and those who still cling to analog, they should be shot. You euthanized because they are decrepit old Methuselah, so they they are not fit for the 21st century. So you have these voices in the ether, but what is really special now is that uh, he was mentioning of a third video <laughs> that basically he was reviewing in this video i think what was that 45 rpm audio file that's the channel name and he is a german uh, uh, channel and he was interviewing uh, bernie grandman who is a recording engineer and bernie grandman said the same thing that uh, the digital has some problem with it and because everything that is digitized will get the same character to it i think he used the words uh it's like if you are editing a picture and there's like red green and blue channels on it and by the time you are done with the editing with the digital processing uh, then you have a yellow tint over the whole thing and uh, now you can, uh, you know, say that Bernie Grandman is, you know, he doesn't know anything about it. Well, for those of you who don't know him, he has made uh, many of the most classic, uh, high-quality recordings that we listen to. So he is the authority on recording. And... Uh, he, from him you are hearing the stuff from the horse's mouth not some little you know parrots like me and and him and the 45 rpm audio file because we are just you know users who are listening to music building on stuff we, we each have our preferences whatnot but bernie he is the one who is creating the music for us he is the one who, who did like tens of thousands of hours of recording and editing using both analog and digital formats. And, uh, and he is the standard. And uh, you can ignore anyone you want, but ignoring him is uh, kind of like already at the point of the ostrich strategy, like putting your heads in the sand. Um, anyway. Uh, what I think about everything, all of this, is that still analog versus digital is an extremely subjective thing. And uh, it's not just the format itself, but depending on your audio system, how it is capable to present one or the other, what are your pet peeves, what do you think, what, what ticks your mind. If you want to go by specifications and brochures, what you are being fed, and theories, and you think that the theory says this, and that's why it has to sound better, then you, uh, you need to go to the school of experiences. And, uh, and uh, audio is not the only field of science where uh, 
experience and theory doesn't always match. It's everywhere, every field of science. I have two master's degrees and a, P and a PhD, and I can tell that on all of my areas, I am seeing this, that at, when you stay in the field of academia, there are some things that we learn, that we study, and are held as ironclad facts and truths. And when you go on the experimental side uh, to work with these theories, with these assumptions, it turns out that they have gigantic gaps and uh, and those are just assumptions which create a common ground where you can build on but it has to go through the test of experience and depending on what where you diverge uh, from that standing point from that basic block of uh, a theorem or assumption then it it's either true or false. It's just a common ground, uh, but, uh, but it's not an absolute truth. It's true in certain uh, cases. And, uh, and what, uh, what happened here also is that uh, I posted a comment on, on, his, uh, on his video and, and I got a response on it. And, uh, and I think there's a lot to, to, uh, to share for that response, and if I would type that down, uh, I, I would get Carpartana, and uh, my eyes would hurt uh, for staring at the screen so long. Uh, and uh, so I'm just going to make a video response for that comment. For uh, the poster's name is uh, Nyquist, and uh, I'm going to make it on my channel and show it to you guys. And if he happens to see it, that's wonderful. Um, um, I don't think I will put a link there on his channel to this video because that's a really bad etiquette to push your channel on someone else's channel. So maybe if uh, you know some of those people who listen to that channel listen to mine, they will find it. Otherwise, it's it's for your ears and um, you know. Uh, so going at his comment and he says digital does not lose the lowest signal level and he says that because i wrote in my comment that it's been my observation that when i listen to digital versus analog the lowest signal level is not there i'm not hearing the faintest signals and and it's not because i'm biased against digital it's because uh, i put on something i listen to it and oh, oh. There's, there's no really low signal level. What's going on? And uh, of course, when you say, oh, you know that you put on a CD or, a, or, a, or an LP, right? But wait for the catch. Uh, I had, um, you know, like I have my records and I had about this much rec condos label records. And I was just, just took them all out and I was binge listening to them. So it's the same uh, recording company, you know, same team of engineers, uh, similar types of music, uh, British classical music or English classical music. I, I, I know they are really sensitive how you say it, like, is it British or English or UK? You guys decide what it is and put it in the comments who know more about it, okay? So for me, it's... It's, this is Candace, it, it, it's, you know, they were recorded on the British Isles and, uh, and they have the exact same sound signature, they employ the, the same uh, compression, same processing, everything on those records. And I was listening to them and I noticed that there are some that sound really alive, really fantastic, and then others like have a like the life is gone from them and and they don't have the lowest level of details that's what i noticed what's going on there's like the, the lowest detail level is missing and then i put them into two piles the ones where the detail level was missing and the one where the detail level was there and then surprise surprise i flipped them to the back side or i just looked at the cover in more detail uh, and i saw that the ones 
that had the low level missing were all digital recordings. So they were recorded in the digital domain and issued on vinyl. And the ones that had that low signal level present were recorded on tape and then issued on vinyl. And, but it's not just uh, this label. I have noticed, I have like gazillions of LPs and uh, without looking at the cover, if you pick any of my LPs, put on my turntable, I can tell if it's a, a digital recording or an analog recording because on the digitals, that very faint signal level is missing. And then uh, Nyquist is saying that that is because people often th think they can hear more low-level information with analog. This is because analog recordings, particularly vinyl, have to be dynamically compressed. Now, of course, this makes the former low-level information louder and hence more audible. Now, uh, when I'm listening to music on my system, it's extremely obvious how much dynamic compression was on a recording. So when I put one recording to other, it's, it's very easy to, uh, to guess the, the dynamic compression state of the recording. And, uh, and it's not that... So of course, we cannot say vinyl as vinyl because you take pick two records and they are vastly different in, in compression status. And I have a few uh, records which have so immense dynamics that it's, it's just totally mind blowing. And I have others where they've been compressed to very little. But even those just pale beyond what we have today for most digital. Because today in our era, the majority of digital recordings have so much more compression on them compared to what was issued in the 50s and 60s on vinyl. So the 50s, 60s records, which the majority of my uh, collection is, have tremendously wider uh, dynamic range compared to the present issued uh, uh, digital. And as, as Nyquist is saying, when you compress records, then the low-level details are riding higher. Now, according to that, the modern-day compressed digital, you should hear then a lot of low-level information because they have been brought up very, very much. And, but that's not the case. Any digital source, whether it was compressed uh, into a flat, you know, <laughs> pile of pancake or whether they they kept it uh, the dynamic range unprocessed it still has that lowest bit missing that low lowest range of dynamic level is not there that lowest information those really really fine layers levels are not there and uh, if they were there then with increased compression i should hear it but it's not at least in my system, I can't hear it. And when I put on records, at that level, which is really close to the background noise level of my uh, room, or maybe even more, that, that really faint level, it's there. There is content there. But when you dig that low to search information for, from digital source, either from your DAC or from vinyl, which has digitally recorded source, it's missing. So for, for Nyquist and those of you who, who absolutely love digital and trash vinyl, my turntable, if you play a digitally recorded vinyl on it, there is absolutely zero clue to give you that you are listening to a turntable. Nothing. It's it's like exactly as listening to a digital source. And it does not sound analog, doesn't sound like a turntable at all. It sounds like you are uh, listening to a really high-end uh, digital source. And it's just, yeah, that's it. And, and, uh, and that's what I experienced with my friend systems. 
uh, that uh, we listened to a, a material which was a modern recorded uh, vocal, both I showed on vinyl and streaming, and absolutely zero cue. Like when, when he was switching between them, it was just hitting the mute button for a split second, and there's no no clue whatsoever, not even, you know, with golden ear radar hearing, could we detect the slightest difference between uh, playing digitally recorded media from vinyl or the digital source itself. And um, so, so I think this is my experience that for some reason, digital is missing the lowest levels and that's what he is telling you and i think burning Grandman was also hinting at that as well in uh, in his talk but i have to double check i don't know uh, if he did or not but this is something that that a lot of us audiophiles have been noticing that those those, those really faint uh, uh, indications are not there in digital and why people uh, disagree with that when they disagree it's because uh, if your system is not good enough to reproduce those very low dynamic levels you will not hear it so for most systems they are not there yet to resolve that very low dynamic level and uh, even if you have a, like a very elaborate system only a fraction of them that I heard have the ability to resolve that low on the dynamic scale. And if your amplifier has error correction on it, then that layer is almost guaranteed it's gone. So the only way you are going to hear that layer is having no feedback uh, amplification and very high efficiency loudspeakers. That's been my experience. Is there any other way to hear that? I don't know. I never experienced it any other way. Uh, so, thank you for tuning in. That's my update for today. And uh, I hope uh, you like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Watch the video. I will put the link to the channel, to the video. <laughs> Have an awesome day. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.